Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing by and welcome to Ping Dodo Second Quarter 2022 Earnings Conference Call. At this time, all participants are in the listen-only mode. There will be a presentation followed by a question and answer session, at which time, if you wish to ask a question, you need to press star 1-1 on your telephone. I must advise you that this conference is being recorded today. I'd now like to hand the conference over to your host today, Mr. Chen Peng. Sir, please go ahead. Thank you, operator. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Chen, and I will help host the earnings call. Pinduoduo earnings release was distributed earlier and is available on the AI website at investor.pinduoduo.com as well as through Global News Wire services. Before we begin, I would like to refer you to our safe harbor statement in the earnings press release, which applies to this call, as we will make certain forward-looking statements. Also, this call includes discussions of certain non-GAAP financial measures. Please refer to our earnings release, which contains a reconciliation of non-GAAP measures to gap measures. Joining us today on the call are Chen Lei, our Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Liu Jun, our VP of Finance. Lei will make some general remarks on our performance for the past quarter and our strategic focus. Jun will then take us through our financial results for the seventh quarter and the June 30, 2022. During the Q&A session, they will answer questions in Chinese, and I will help translate. Please kindly note that all translations provided are for reference purpose only. In case of any discrepancy between the original remarks and the translated version, statements in the original remarks should prevail. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Chen Lei. Lei. Please go ahead. Thank you, Chen, and hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our earnings call for the second quarter of 2022. Let me start by giving a brief overview of our second quarter results. Our total revenue for this quarter was RMB 31.4 billion. This represents a year-on-year increase of 36%. We witnessed the resilience of China's consumption during the second quarter. After being temporarily affected in the early part of the quarter, pent-up demand was released as things returned to normal, and consumer sentiment gradually recovered in the second half of Q2. Since mid-May, we launched several campaigns and distributed coupons to bolster consumer confidence. Such a recovery in consumer confidence was also reflected in a positive reception for this year's June 18 Shopping Festival. During the June 18 Shopping Festival, we continued to focus on bringing our customers more savings and more fun. We are encouraged to see consumers buying from a wide range of categories. For example, Categories such as agricultural produce, FMCG, household electronics, and cosmetics all experienced solid consumer demand during the festival. Also, more and more brands are partnering with us, and many of them use our platform to launch their new products. These are signs that consumers and merchants are finding values in our platform. Having said that, we still have a long way to go before fully meeting our consumers' evolving needs. Our business activities and investments were affected during the last quarter, especially in the first half. Short-term external factors such as remote working and the travel restrictions cause delays of certain projects, including promotional events 
an agri-tech initiative. Even though this might make the quarterly financials look better, the long-term prospects of our platform may be affected, especially considering the current industry dynamics. Therefore, it has become more important than ever to step up our investments and build up our core capabilities. We must make every possible improvement and create value for our consumers, business partners, and the society. For consumers, we are constantly on the lookout for new unmet needs and iterating our services to address those needs. For example, during April, we saw a spike in consumer demand for flash food, groceries, and the daily necessities in Shanghai. To meet this demand, we set up a special section in the Pinduoduo app for residents to buy fresh food and essential items, and have them delivered within 48 hours. From the initial 25 items, we quickly expanded the selection to around 300 products. From essentials like rice and cooking oil, to diapers and hygiene products. Given the surge in demand and limited logistical capability, capacity, we also offered more delivery flexibility to the pooling of orders by housing community. Here, we would like to take a moment to express our gratitude to the colleagues who work hard to ensure the operation of our platform in the past quarter. Their hard work served many consumers in their time of need, and we are deeply thankful and proud of their contribution. As things gradually return to normal, we also launched various events to promote seasonal agricultural produce. For instance, in late May, in response to consumer demand, we launched a campaign to help consumers discover and enjoy seasonal fruits from across the country. This event was well received by consumers. Sales of lychee surged 158% compared with a year ago, while orders increased significantly for other fruits such as watermelon, coconut, and grapes. Seeing consumer feedback, we rolled out a year-long fresh produce of China initiative together with Farm's Daily Newspaper. This initiative will introduce the unique characteristics of different agricultural specialties across the country to our consumers and contribute to better income for local farmers. For merchants, we work closely with them to ensure stable supply especially at the start of a quarter, when the supply chain were affected. For example, we proactively provided traffic updates to help our merchants better plan and adjust their logistics. We also launched special campaigns and measures to help the small and medium-sized businesses and agricultural merchants on our platform. For example, our Dodo grocery operations quickly contacted local suppliers when we learned that farmers in certain regions were unable to sell their vegetables due to traffic disruption. Within a short period of time, they managed to sell hundreds of tons of vegetables through our platform, directly helping the farmers to avoid financial losses. To support our farmer merchants, we will continue to waive the sales commissions of agricultural producers. As a technology company with its roots in agriculture, we firmly believe that technology can serve as a force for good. We see rural communities 
benefiting from agricultural e-commerce by new jobs and higher incomes. Young people now have the opportunity to start their own online businesses in their hometowns and be close to their families. These benefits are both economic and social, tangible and intangible. We mentioned before that we have trained hundreds of thousands of new farmers, supporting them to set up online businesses and helping their local communities to sell their produce. In addition to farming, we hope to further unleash the vitality of the rural economy by starting a new craftsman program. As with agriculture, we aim to help local artisans and craftsmen promote traditional crafts, build their brands, and widen their access to markets. We also expanded our Door Door Reading Month campaign to promote the love of reading among young students in rural areas. As of today, we have donated over 250,000 carefully selected books. We hope that through such efforts, we can do our part in contributing to a better future for this youth. To conclude, as we deal with trends from quarter to quarter, we remain focused on building long-term intrinsic value and investing for the future. We will stick closely to our core principles of benefit all, people first, and more open, and stay committed to build a platform that serves as a force for good. Thank you. With that, I will hand over to Jim. Um, thank you, Lei. Hello, everyone. I will go through our performance in the quarter ended June 30th, 2022. In terms of P&L, our total revenue in the quarter will RMB 31.4 billion, up 36% from RMB 23 billion in the same quarter of 2021. This was mainly driven by an increase in revenues from online marketing services and transaction services, offset by decrease in revenues from 1P trials. Revenues from online marketing services and others were only 25.2 billion this quarter, up 39% compared with the same period of 2021. This was primarily due to increase in merchant activities as the result of a consumption recovery. As Lei has mentioned, we experienced a recovery in consumer sentiments in the latter part of the quarter, especially during the June 18 shopping festival. Our transaction services revenue this quarter will earn be 6.2 billion up 107% versus the same period of 2021. Moving on to cost and expenses. Our total cost of revenues increased 1% from RMB 7.9 billion in Q2 2021 to RMB 8 billion this quarter. Total operating expenses this quarter were RMB 14.8 billion versus RMB 13.2 billion in the same quarter of 2021. The postponement of certain projects, including promotional events and agricultural initiatives, as well as lower business-related expenses during the first half of the quarter, temporarily affected our overall expenses. As things gradually return to the normal, we incurred more expenses in the second half of this quarter. Our total non-GAAP operating expenses as a percentage of total revenues has declined from 52% in Q2 2021 to 41% in this quarter. 
looking into specific expensive items. All known gap sales in the marketing next quarter are in between 0.8 billion, up 8% versus the same quarter of 2021. On known gap basis, our sales and marketing expenses as a percentage of our revenue this quarter was 34%, compared with 43% for the same quarter in 2021. Our known gap, general and administrative expenses were RMB 164.7 million versus RMB 213.8 million in the same quarter of 2021. Our known gap research and development expenses were RMB 1.9 billion an increase of 11% from RMB 1.8 billion in the same quarter of 2021. The increase was primarily due to an increase in headcount and the recruitment of more experienced R&D personnel. Operating profit for the quarter was RMB 8.7 billion on a gap basis, compared with operating profit of RMB 2 billion in the same quarter of 2021. Non-gap operating profit was RMB 10.5 billion versus the operating profit of RMB 3.2 billion in the same quarter of 2021. Net income attributable to ordinary shareholders were RMB 8.9 billion, compared with RMB 2.4 billion in the same quarter of 2021. Basic earnings per ADS was RMB 7.06, and the Deloitte earnings per ADS was RMB 6.22, versus basic earnings per ADS of RMB 1.93 and Deloitte earnings per ADS of RMB 1.69 in the same quarter of 2021. Non gap net income attributable to ordinary shareholders was RMB 10.8 billion, compared with RMB 4.1 billion in the same quarter last year. Non-GAAP diluted earnings per ADS was RMB 7.54 versus RMB 2.85 in the same quarter of 2021. Now let me move on to cash flow. Our net cash flow generated from operating activities to RMB 19.4 billion, compared with RMB 7.4 billion in the same quarter of 2021 primarily due to the increase in net income and the changes in working capital. As of June 30, 2022, the company had RMB 119.4 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and short-term investments. To conclude, profitability in the past quarter was mainly attributable to a few short-term factors that may not repair it in the future. First, we saw good user engagement during the past quarter. As competition remains intense, we're not sure whether such engagement momentum will continue. Second, project performance and the lower business-related activities affected our overall expenses in Q2. We view these factors as mostly temporarily in nature. In fact, we incurred higher expenses in the second half of Q2 when things returned to normal. Therefore, given that the profits in the second quarter are mainly due to a combination of several short-term factors, we do not expect the profitability in the past quarter to serve as a benchmark for future quarters. Thank you. This concludes my prepared remarks. Thank you, Jean. Next, we will move on to the Q&A session. For today's Q&A session, Lei and Jin will take questions from analysts on the line. We are happy to take a maximum of two questions per analyst. Lei will answer questions in Chinese, and I will help translate Lei's remarks for ease of reference. Operator, uh, we are now ready to take questions uh, from analysts on the line. 
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We will now begin the question and answer session. If you wish to ask a question, please press star one one on your telephone and wait for a name to be announced. Participants are requested to restrict to two questions each time. Our first question comes from Kenneth Paul from Credit Suisse. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, uh, I have two questions. 呃，第一个是关于这个季度的广告收入，我们有一个非常强劲的百分之三十九的增长，而且是连续两个季度的加速，想请教一下我们背后的驱动因素是什么呢？呃，第二个问题是关于品牌方面的，呃，管理层可否跟我们更新一下我们品牌化的进展呢？呃，因为我们看到很多品牌也参与我们多多六幺八的销售活动，呃，这个对我们季度的业绩有多大的帮助呢？那将来我们有什么方法去吸引更多的品牌加入我们的平台呢？谢谢。我继续翻译一下。啊、uh, ，I have two questions. Ah,、uh, first on the second quarter growth rate, we noticed a very strong online marketing service revenue that record a、uh, strong growth of 39% year on year, and、um, this re accelerates from the previous two quarter. What's the reason behind this、uh, quarter strong growth? And the second question is on the brands. Can management speak more about the progress on bringing more brands onto our platform? We saw many brands participate in our 616 events. How does this help our growth for this quarter? And what's your overall plan for the brand recruitment? Thank you. Uh, Kenny, 你好啊，高兴能够回答你的问题。那么，首先是关于增长，就是呃，从五月的下半旬开始呢。我们就已经看到消费是在逐渐的恢复啊，那我们呢也在第一时间啊，通过多种的方式呃、啊，助力消费的复苏。呃、uh, ，Kenneth， I am happy、uh, to take your question. Uh, first about our、uh, revenue growth. Uh, starting from the second half of May, we Saw a trend of consumption recovery. Also, we actively made efforts to、uh, facilitate consumer spending by offering、uh, various forms of promotion to、uh, help with consumption recovery. 那么呢，在今年的这个六幺八活动中呢？我们看到了很多商户和品牌呢，呃，都在积极的参与。那同时呢，也看到了消费者较强的购物需求。那么在这样的背景下呢，啊、呃，平台上包括日化、啊、呃、农产品、啊、呃、小家电、啊、呃、美妆的很多品类呢，啊、呃，都取得了一定的增长。And during uh this year's June 18 event. We saw、uh, many merchants as well as brands actively、uh, participating. We also saw solid demand coming from、uh, consumers. Given、uh, this background, on our platform, many categories,、uh, including FMCG products, agricultural produce, consumer electronics, and cosmetics. These categories all had a decent growth on our platform. 那另外一方面呢，我们也始终的呃尽我们的所能去满足呃消费者的需求。那这也离不开呃我们非常多的员工在过去一段时间呃辛勤的付出。呃，他们的努力呢呃帮助很多消费者呃解决了这样一个生活必需品的需求。我们公司呢也很感谢团队在这一段时间呢付出的努力。In addition, we always try our best to satisfy consumer demand, and、uh, this is inseparable from、uh, many of our team members'、uh, hard work during the past、uh, period of time. They Uh, worked very hard to help many uh, consumers uh, meet their essential demand, 
and uh, we are uh, grateful toward our team's hard work uh, during uh, this process. Uh,在满足消费者需求的这个方向上呢, At the same time, we also saw that uh, competition uh, landscape is still very uh, intense. And uh, in terms of satisfying uh, consumers' needs, we have uh, many areas uh, that we can uh, further improve. And as I uh, mentioned earlier, uh, due to outside reasons, our overall investment activity uh, during the uh, second quarter was uh, impacted. And this is actually uh, not beneficial uh, to our long-term competitiveness. Uh, And uh, therefore, we need to uh, further uh, step up our efforts and uh, also strengthen our uh, core capabilities uh, so that we can create uh, more uh, value for uh, consumers as well as for uh, the society. Shukoi 2nd question, uh, um, our brand, uh, we, we see that the needs from our uh, consumers on our platform are uh, becoming more and more uh, diversified. And different uh, consumers, they have uh, different needs uh, in uh, different product categories and across different consumption scenarios. Uh, therefore, it is uh, very natural uh, for uh, them to uh, need more uh, choices uh, and uh, more products. And uh, our goal is uh, always uh, to uh, better serve our consumers and uh, to bring them um, more savings, more fun uh, shopping experience. And uh, in terms of how to uh, serve uh, the consumers, uh, we believe that uh, essentially uh, the brand's goal and our goal are uh, well aligned, uh, that is to uh, serve uh, consumers well. So uh, we would uh, continue to focus on our own part and uh, remain to be uh, very down to earth and uh, patient. Thank you. Okay, operator, we may now move on to the next analyst. Thank you. Next question comes from Joy Shi from Bank of America. 
Please ask your question. Uh, good evening, management. Thanks for taking my questions. My first question is related to the overseas expansion. Uh, could management share some colors on the reported uh, new initiatives in the overseas market? What's the latest data, any main target market, and what's the core value proposition of this new business? And my second question is related to the transaction service revenue. Uh, transaction service revenue continue to grow faster than the online marketing revenue this quarter. Also, we actually see it accelerated from the last quarter to a triple digit year over year growth. Um, may we know, like, you know, what's the reason behind? Uh, 我自己翻译一下我的问题那个管理层晚上好感谢给我这个提问的机会我有两个问题第一个问题是有关于最近媒体报道很多的我们即将上线的跨境电商平台能不能请管理层跟我们分享一下我们在这方面的战略计划目前
uh, we are uh, sufficiently uh, aware that uh, overseas business will be uh, full of uh, challenges, and uh, it will uh, require uh, constant trials and uh, experimentation. Uh, this uh, process would not just uh, happen overnight, uh, but uh, the experience gained along the way would uh, prove to be uh, very valuable to our company as well as to our team. Thank you. Okay, um, thanks for your question, Joyce. Um, for your question about transaction service revenue, uh, well, uh, first, we always remain consumer-centric. Operating metrics and financial uh, metrics are natural results from how we serve consumers. And uh, over the past quarter, um, because of consumption recovery, we had uh, user engagement and transactions. This contributed to the uh, revenue growth. Um, in addition, for us, um, our business cycle does not always match exactly to our quarterly financial reporting cycle. And um, we are not managing our business on a quarterly basis. So um, it is common to see fluctuations between uh, quarters. Uh, we remain focused on uh, serving consumers better and uh, investing creates a long-term value. Thank you. Okay, operator, we are ready to move on to the next analyst on the line. Thank you. Our next question comes from Thomas Chong from Jefferies. Please ask your question. Guardian 谢谢 Thanks, management, for taking my questions. My first question is about uh, cost control and efficiencies. Uh, given the macro uncertainties right now, and we are seeing a lot of internet companies are exercising sort of cost control, I uh, just want to get some color from management about uh, our cost control uh, strategies. And my second question is about uh, profitability. Given the second quarter earnings comes in better than expecta market expectations, um, how should we think about the profitability trend in the second half? Thank you. Um, 站在这个现在这个时点上呢，我们在这个服务好消费者上呢，仍然有很多事情要做，有很长的路要走。Hi Thomas, uh, so uh, let me address uh, your uh, first question. Uh, first of all, I uh, believe that uh, we are still in the development stage, not the uh, stabilized stage, and at this point in time, uh, we still have a long way to go and a lot of work to do uh, to uh, serve our consumers well. Uh, 关键的机会，并且做出呢对应规模的投入。And uh, as a part of our development, uh, to constantly satisfy our consumer demand would uh, take a lot of uh, patience. Uh, not only do we need to uh, constantly explore, uh, but we uh, also need to seize. Uh, the uh, key opportunities and uh, also make the relevant investments. 那么呢，在过去的一个季度呢，呃，特别是这个呃前半部分呢，呃，其实我们团队的投入呢
是被动减少了。那么从短期来看呢，这可能会带来啊不错的这个呃财务数据，但是呢，长期来看呢，这实际上啊影响到了我们平台的整体竞争力。Um, and uh, in the past quarter, and especially during the first half of the uh, second quarter, our uh, team's uh, investment activity uh, was uh, impacted. And uh, during the uh, short term, this might uh, bring about uh, decent uh, financial results. Uh, but if we uh, look at it uh, with a, a long-term perspective, uh, this uh, actually uh, weakens our uh, competitiveness. 那么因此呢，未来呢，我们觉得还是要啊立足长远，要投资未来。那么呢，就是在方面在夯实自己的核心能力，另外一方面呢，就是我们还是要我们还是会专注于在农业和科技研发方面的长期投入。那么呢？为这个消费者和社会创造更多的价值呢，这也将呃支撑呃我们平台呃长期以及高质量的发展。希望这个呢能回答到关于你的第一个问题。And uh, therefore, uh, looking ahead, we would uh, always uh, think about the long term, and uh, we would uh, remain uh, very committed. Uh, to investing uh, for the future. We uh, need to uh, further uh, strengthen our core capabilities and uh, to uh, continue to uh, focus on uh, investing into uh, the fields of agriculture and uh, R&D uh, over, uh, over the long term uh, in order to create value for uh, consumers as well as for uh, the society. And uh, this would uh, support our uh, long-term and high-quality development. And this is my thinking on um, our overall strategies and hope it addressed uh, your uh, first question. Okay, um, this is Jane. Um, thanks, Thomas. I will take your second question. Um, for your second question about profits, um, well, uh, as mentioned before, we have not changed our strategy on uh, uh, to the focus on profitability. So um, for the past quarter alone, um, our profitability was mainly attributable to um, a number of external factors, which are mostly short-term or uh, one of nature. On the revenue side, um, we saw a good level of user engagement and consumption, which are mostly uh, boosted by consumption recovery. At the same time, um, we still face very intense competition. Um, for the uh, expense side, uh, factors such as project delays and uh, decrease in business-related activities lead to the short-term impact in our Q2 expenses. And um, to sum up, this quarter's profitability is due to um, short-term factors combined. So it is not a good benchmark for your future preference. And this is our view on profitability. Thank you. Operator, we're ready to move on. Our next question comes from Bai Young from CICC. Please ask your question. Uh, 啊，我们其实看到在社区团购领域的增长，好像没有之前那么快了。就是啊，同时我们也看到行业上有些公司开始控制支出，啊，也更加关注优异。我、啊、想问一下，就是拼多多是不是也在啊关注效率方面的这样的一个提升？以及如果我们看多多买菜的财务提升，啊，对于这个季度整体的财务有什么样的帮助？啊，然后我第二个问题呢，其实也是有关费用率。啊，其实我随着我们的收入的进一步增长呢，呃，经营杠杆的这个作用还是持续发挥出来呢。我看到这个季度的费用率也下降到了百分之四十七。那么我们是否可以预计啊，这种经营杠杆的这样的一个效用是可以持续的啊？同时，我们观察到公司啊在收入上也有非常好的增长。我我们是怎么在一个
啊兼顾增长的这个同时，然后做到啊费用一个这么好的优化。啊，我自己来翻译一下。啊 ，Thanks management for taking my question. 啊、uh, ，My first question is about Dodo Grocery. They think that、uh, Dodo Grocery is reaching a relatively steady growth state, and players started to care about loss reduction and unique economy. So, can manage management share some color on the future prospects of Dodo Grocery?、Uh, do we also care more about the efficiency measures? Also, how will the increase in Dodo Grocery's financial leverage? Contribute to the firm's level margin this quarter.、Uh, my first question is also regarding to the operating expense ratio. As company's revenue continue continues to grow and the operating leverage、uh, continues to play its role, the company's expense ratio has dropped to 47 percent. Should we expect、uh, the situation to be sustainable? And meanwhile,、uh, we recorded a 36 year-over-year growth in revenue. Could management comment on how we manage to、uh, optimize expense while also maintaining strong growth? Thank you. Uh, Bai Yang, 晚上好。嗯，我先说一下多多买菜吧。呃，就是从战略上呢，我们一直认为，呃，多多买菜呢，其实是我们平台业务的一个自然延伸。那么也是呢，我们发挥。自身这种农业特色，来更好的服务消费者，一个非常非常重要的组成部分。嗯、呃，这是一个我们会呃耐心投入的项目。呃，这个执行战略呢是不会受到呃外部的呃短期的变化的影响。呃、uh, ，Hi， 大杨 ，So、uh, let me、uh, talk a little bit about、uh, total grocery first. Uh, first. Uh, from a strategy、uh, point of view,、uh, Total Grocery is a natural extension、uh, from our platform. And、uh, in terms of how we are able to、uh, leverage our、uh, value proposition in terms of uh, uh, agriculture uh, to better serve consumers, it、uh, also、uh, plays a very important role. And this is the project that we would.、Uh, Uh, patiently invest into, and this strategy will not be impacted by external uh, short-term uh, changes. 那么呢，自从我们在这个二零二零年的下半年呢，呃，推出多多买菜以来呢，我们也看到了多多买菜在本地农产品的这个呃供需匹配和履约上呢。能够给消费者带来呃更新鲜、呃更实惠、呃更便利的农产品，确实的创造呃消费者价值。Since we、uh, introduced the、uh, Dodo Grocery in the second half of、uh, 2020,、uh, we have also、uh, seen that、uh, in the areas Of、uh, matching localized、uh, demand and localized supply, as well as、uh, in the area of uh, uh, fulfillment, uh, this uh, service can uh, provide uh, consumers with、uh, a fresher, uh, more affordable, and uh, more uh, convenient agricultural uh, products. Uh, it can uh, create uh, tangible value、uh, for consumers. 那同时呢，我们也看到了这项业务呢，仍然有很多可以提升的地方。那比如说呢，如何啊更有效的进行供需匹配，发掘啊优质的货源。那么如何进一步的优化配送体系，啊提升履约服务质量等等呢？我们依然在不停的做这个调整和提升。那么这一切呢，都是为了啊争取呢给消费者带来更好的体验。Uh, and at the、uh, at the same time, for、uh, the total grocery、uh, service,、uh, we also、uh, see、uh, many areas that we can、uh, improve.、Uh, to give you、uh, some examples here,、uh, how to、uh, match、uh, supply and demand more efficiently, how to、uh, secure uh, more uh, quality products and produce, 
uh, how to uh, uh, better optimize the distribution network and uh, to further uh, improve our uh, fulfillment service quality, uh, just to uh, name a few here. And uh, we are still uh, constantly adjusting and uh, improving. Uh, all of this is to uh, make uh, effort uh, to uh, bring uh, better service experiences uh, to uh, consumers. And uh, we have uh, always remained uh, consumer centric and would uh, uh, remain to be so. Uh, our uh, top priority is to uh, create a value uh, for our consumers, and this would uh, uh, never change. Uh, as for the financial metrics, they are a result and a reflection of uh, how well we uh, serve our consumers. Thank you. Okay, um, thanks, Bayan. Um, on your question on operating expenses trends, uh, well, um, our total operating expenses as a percentage revenue decreased to 47% this quarter, uh, as you just mentioned. But um, I want to point out here um, many short term factors such as project delays and lower business activities caused such decrease. So it is unlikely to continue. In fact, um, as things gradually went back to normal, expenses during the second half of the quarter actually increased compared to the first half. So the Q2 quarterly expenses may not be a good benchmark. Also, um, just as Lei previously mentioned, um, we believe Pinduoduo is still in the development stage. Such impact on our investment um, is not good for us from business perspective. Competition um, is still intense, so we need to continue to invest. Hope it uh, addressed your question. Thank you. Hi, operator. We may now uh, take questions uh, from the next analyst on the line. Thank you. Our next question comes from the line of Natalie Wu from Haitong International. Please ask your question, Natalie. Hey, 晚上好，谢谢管理层接受我的提问。那我也呢有两个问题。那第一个呢，想问一下咱们现在内部对各个业务投入的一个战略优先级的一个一个看法。那呃，从雷总您接任 CEO 以来呢，已经一年半的时间了。那也是呃提出百百亿农联的这个项目啊，一年半了。那我们看相应的费用好像一直没太多体现。那同时呢，我们下半年我们看到啊、呃、外界情况有一些变化，比如说疫情的影响逐渐结束啊，就消费者的心情逐渐恢复。再比如说就直播电商的压力啊，就消退了。那咱们二季度的增速也显著，快于行业，利润率也非常好。那所以咱们也说了，下半年要多花点钱在平台上，但也还是继续说了，咱们还要继续投钱在农业和研发上。所以就想了解一下，现在这个时间点上，啊，咱们呃对各条业务线在下半年投入方面的一个战略优先级的看法，啊，包括像这个平台的 self marketing 啊，农业的这个 R D 啊，还有新的出海啊这些，啊，怎么一个排序？啊，这个是第一个。第二个的话就是想看，啊，就看到咱们的账上在二季度末都有超过一千亿人民币的现金了，就我们也看到啊，这。其他的一些公司也都在用自己的像 Gradio 在回馈股股东，比如说像分红啊、回购啊这些的，啊，想了解一下咱们有没有类似的一个计划？啊、uh, ，Let me translate myself. Um, so thanks for taking my question. I have two. Uh, first one is regarding the department priorities. We have been some time uh since late on your um leadership transition. I started to shift more towards agriculture programs and R&D. 
So we haven't seen much um, material impact in terms of the income statement generated from the uh, 10 billion agricultural program. So just wondering, have such priorities have changed? And um, should we expect a change uh, when external factors are different currently? For example, as um, consumer sentiment improves, will you uh, prioritize again on um, a platform related social marketing? And uh, what are your uh, current key priorities to bring PDB to the next level? It would be great that if we can get a sense regarding your internal strategic priorities for platform e-commerce, agriculture, and maybe the new initiatives related with overseas expansion. And also, um, you have a strong balance sheet with um, over uh, uh, 100 billion RMB in terms of cash. So we have seen some peers have introduced plans to redistribute value to shareholders. Just wondering, does PVD uh, have similar plans under um, consideration? Thank you. And that's it. 呃，我先回答一下有关这啊优先级的问题啊。嗯、呃，我觉得首先呢，还是要看一下我们这个呃，就是就是这个企业的最最基本的出发点。那么首先呢，我们是始终致力于啊、呃、满足消费者这种不断变化的需求。那我始终认为呢，发展是离不开啊、呃、消费者的支持。那么呢，服务好消费者呢，是我们作为一个企业的本分。Uh, hi, Natalie. Uh, so uh, let me address your uh, question uh, on priorities for us. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, we need to look at uh, on which we base our uh, business and uh, uh, from which we start our business. Uh, we are uh, dedicated uh, to serving the rapidly uh, evolving consumer needs and our uh, development is uh, uh, inseparable uh, from the uh, support from our consumers. And uh, this is the duty, uh, uh, our duty as a company to uh, serve consumers well. 那么呢，随着我们的用户呢达到现有的规模呢，呃，如何能够更好的服务他们，啊，进一步的加深对呃拼多多的信任和心智呢，是我们的重心。那么也是在这个目的下呢，我们进一步的呃转向啊农业和研发啊作为我们关注的重点。And as our、uh, user base、uh, reaches the, the current scale,、uh, it is our focus uh, to uh, better uh, serve uh, them and also uh, deepen uh, their trust in Pinduoduo. As well as、uh, increase their mind share,、uh, and、uh, toward this goal,、uh, we have、uh, shifted our attention uh, more uh, toward uh, agriculture uh, and R and D, and、uh, these、uh, remain to be our priorities. 那我们也看到呢，的确这两个方面的投入呢，能够确确实实的为消费者和社会呢创造价值。Uh, we have also seen that uh, the investment in these two areas uh, can uh, bring about a tangible value、uh, to consumers and the society. 那么首先呢，我们看在这个农业的消费端呢，那么通过更有效的呃农产品上行，我们能够让消费者呢买到更新鲜。呃，更实惠的农产品。那同时呢，我们也可以通过呃技术提升呃农产品的这个流通效率呢，处于在针对呢农业的这个流通端的进行优化。嗯、um, ，First, uh, let's look at uh, agriculture. Uh, in the realm of uh, consumption, we are uh, able uh, to uh, uh, enable. More、uh, efficient uh, online transactions, and uh, uh, we are able to、uh, let consumers uh, enjoy uh, fresher and uh, uh, more uh, affordable uh, produce. And、uh, we also improved 
the uh, distribution efficiencies through the use of technology in uh, distribution. 那么在生产端呢，我们通过推广农业科技，呃，帮助农户呢提高产量，呃，积极的推动呢，针对呃小农商户的培训，啊，帮助他们呢获得呃更高啊更稳定的收入。呃，in uh, terms of uh, agriculture uh, production, we uh, facilitated uh, the technology uh, adoption. Uh, and usage to help farmers improve yield. And we also actively uh, provided training uh, to uh, small agricultural uh, merchants and producers uh, to help them receive uh, higher as well as a uh, stabler income. Uh, in addition to that, uh, by strengthening our R&D uh, capabilities, we are also uh, able uh, to better understand uh, consumers' uh, new demands and uh, preferences uh, to uh, improve their uh, shopping experience. Uh, so that we can uh, create more uh, value for them. Mm,同时呢，我们也看到，我们尤其是在啊过去的一段时间呢，呃，年轻的团队成员呢，呃，也不断的成长。那么呢，他们保证了整个平台的平稳运营。那么呢，帮助消费者呢，呃，满足了基
Ladies and gentlemen, let this conclude our conference for today. Thank you for participating. You may all disconnect.